Hello, this is Blue Star, Defender of Equestria, and this is my next blind reaction video. My little pony tell your tale. The Lone Alicorn? <laughs> oh no! Oh, poor Sunny, it must be really hard being the Lone Alicorn. But I have a feeling that she won't be too lonely for long. So, rawr. in the last episode, Misty, Izzy, and Violet encountered the Swirlpool Starlight and got a glimpse into their future. Which was kind of difficult for Misty because she was still in some ways dealing with her past with all these horrible things she did under Opaline. But Misty was able to overcome her fears and her past and see that, you know, all the bad things she did in the past are nothing to the wonders that await her in the future. So, roar. So I'm just so proud of you, Misty. Roar. So, so this episode... Sounds kind of self-explanatory in some ways. It's probably going to deal with that Sunny is literally the only alicorn in the whole of Equestria. Or at least a good one anyway, so... <laughs> uh, it'll be interesting to see what this episode will be specifically about and seeing, you know, how uh, Sunny uh, deals with all those things. So this could be interesting. Or it could be really bad. Uh, or maybe both. <laughs> Since this is a Sunny episode, I shall wear Sunny's hat and see what happens. Oh. oh, it's so hard being the lone alicorn sometimes, but it just makes me feel so good being there for Equestria. So, the next episode of Tell You Tales is upon us in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Oh, uh, huh? Watch this. Oh, everyone's an alicorn. <laughs> Aww. Aww. Us? We're all alicorns now! Aww. This is the best! <laughs> I love it! <laughs> Aww. Uh, uh oh. Hey! Oh no! Oh no! We lost Hitch. Oh no, we lost every pony! Oh no! no! <laughs> yes, no! Don't worry, we'll save you! Oh. Poor ponies. <gasps> Aww. Just a dream. <sighs> Aww, poor just... Sunny. A dream. <laughs> now that is what I call bed made. <laughs> Everything okay, Sonny? I just no. had the worst nightmare. We Aww. were all alicorns and we were flying. Oh, all alicorns, huh? But then every pony <laughs> fell out Zip. of the sky and I ended up alone. Aww. That sounds scary. Yeah, I think it I'm was. just worried, Zip. What if I'm the last alicorn? Oh no. The only other one I've ever met was Opaline. <laughs> yeah. Ow! <laughs> Yeah, that's... Come on, there's got to be other alicorns out there. Do you yes. really think so? Totally. I think it's time to do a little investigating. Ooh. How do we even know where to start? I have an idea, but you're okay. not gonna like it. Now, okay. Opaline's lair? Think about it. She was what? the only other alicorn we know about. Wait a minute. Maybe she knew something? Don't worry, this place is totally abandoned now. Wasn't yeah, it abandoned that before? doesn't sound very abandoned to me, Zip. Relax. We've got this. Hmm? It's like, wait a minute. What happened to the tree that was there? Hope. Bravery. Aw. Oh, nice. Okay. Uh. Oh, dear. Um. Whatever it is, it's coming from in there. Okay. <laughs> 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 uh, this is the opposite of abandoned. It's fine. Yeah. Just keep your eyes peeled for something alicorny. Okay. Opaline's lair is in total ruins. We could find anything in here. Uh, you sure? Zip, I've got something. Ow. <laughs> Weird. Yeah, yeah, that's not helpful. <laughs> Guess who I am? I'll get you, pathetic ponies, if it's a lot. <laughs> Look out! Oh, yeah. <gasps> um, oh, everything yeah. important must have been destroyed when we defeated Opaline. Even it if there are have. other alicorns, how are we ever going to find them? Aww. Sunny, the one thing I do know about alicorns is that they never give up. Hmm. Also, they have the coolest friends. Come on. <laughs> No, True. the tail is too small. Ugh. Ugh. Ow. Are you okay? Ugh. I'm better than a 
Okay, look. <gasps> what? An alicorn. This this tapestry. It looks just like my dream. Hmm? And look at all those alicorns. I knew we'd find something. Aw. Ooh. Whoa. Funny. Isn't that the Star Scout crest? Okay, this has mm. got to be a sign. Um, I think we should examine it somewhere else before they literally break down the house. <laughs> um, um, I think it's time to be going, don't you? Uh, oh no! <laughs> fly, oh! <laughs> oh dear. Hey! Ow! 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 Oh dear. Yo! Aww. Oh no! Yeah! <laughs> Boom! Aww, run. Oh dear. Well, if it wasn't wrecked before, it is now. <laughs> you okay, Sonny? I am great. Oh! This changes everything. It does? There's got to be more alicorns out there. Yeah, probably. And we are going to find them together. Aww. <laughs> And as always, thank you to you, hardworking people for working so hard on the show. Roar! Mm. <laughs> Bye! <laughs> so that was Load Alicorn, and not quite what I was thinking, but at the same time, this is pretty cool. So, roar! I figured in some ways that this was going to be about Sunny, sort of in some ways, uh, dealing with her feelings about being like the Obi Alicorn and stuff, and in some ways it was. It's like, what if I'm the only Alicorn? Well, I don't know. Let's go see if we can find any more. So, roar! Make your mark basically confirmed that there is, in fact, like an Alicorn city or land called, I think it was Skyros somewhere. So, uh, if they could find that, I'm sure all the Alicorns are hanging out there. So, roar! And I think that's what that uh, tapestry was actually about. It's like, it's showing sort of almost, you know, Skyros and Alicorns and stuff. So, hmm. Because, yeah, Friendship is Magic, it was sort of talked about, but never really explained or explored, you know, where alicorns come from, how do they work, and all those kinds of things. So if Tell Your Tale is going to kind of go down that road and maybe actually learn more about alicorns, ooh. <laughs> and in some ways, from a bigger picture standpoint, it actually kind of makes sense for Sunny to go and, you know, meet other alicorns because... Sunny's done pretty good, you know, on her own. She would really benefit learning from other alicorns. So, rawr. yeah, thinking back to Friendship is Magic, it's like when Twilight Sparkle became a princess, she was essentially learning how to be a princess from a princess. Even though Sunny is still kind of in training, she still possibly could be a future princess of Equestria, so it would be good for her to learn from other alicorns. So, it would be so cool just to go to the Alicorn city or land and learn more about them and in some ways learn why they live there and what brought them to Equestria to begin with. So, hmm. And as a fan of Celestia and Luna, the idea that they could possibly be waiting for us in the Alicorn land was pretty exciting. So, roar. I guess overall this episode was okay, not great. It's one of these episodes where it's essentially setting up for something bigger in the future. But even so, there were some interesting things here, like that opening dream slash nightmare was actually kind of interesting in itself because I kind of like the idea that all oh, Sunny would just love it if all her friends were alicorns so that she wasn't the only one and that all her friends could enjoy being an alicorn too. So, hmm. Still, there were still some kind of funny things here. And I kind of liked Zip in this episode. There's kind of times where she's kind of not quite paying attention to what's going on. Is more excited about exploring this castle. But uh, there's other moments where she's totally there for Sunny. And uh, I look forward to seeing where all this goes. So overall, this episode by itself is okay. But I'm very interested to see what this episode is setting up for. And looking forward to seeing where all this goes in the future. And who knows, maybe we'll get 
get to see the alicorn land and maybe even Celestia and Luna again. And who knows, maybe Sunny won't be the lone alicorn anymore. So, rawr. So, I hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, thank you for commenting, liking, and subscribing. And until next time, this is Blue Star. Stay strong and pony on. Blue Star out.